89 years ago, in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, disaster struck travelers who had never expected to even touch snow. Number 25, a Great Northern Railroad passenger train, is followed by number 27, Great Northern's fast mail train. Heavy winter storms trigger avalanches, causing both to stop just before the Cascade Tunnel. On the following day, the tracks are finally cleared and both trains slowly steam through. The trains are diverted to a side track outside the railroad town of Wellington. There they remain, helpless. Crews work to clear the tracks, but for each foot they clear, another falls and the peaks above are a looming white wall. Without warning, an avalanche crashes down from the mountains, destroying the cook shack where passengers had eaten the night before. The tracks ahead and the tracks behind are now completely blocked. There is nowhere to go. Five days pass. Some passengers slog to Wellington for food and comfort, returning to the train to sleep. A few risk the perilous trek to the next town. Everyone else remains. Then on March 1st, around 1.30 a.m., the white death falls hard from the mountain. A slab, a half mile long and 20 feet deep, surges over the tracks, Rescue workers follow trails of blood in the snow to unearth bodies. Mothers, daughters, salesmen, sons, lawyers, ranchers, shepherds and miners crushed beyond recognition in the frozen deluge. The final toll is 96 dead with 22 survivors. This remains America's worst avalanche disaster. <laughs> 